So the Bank of America, popularly called BOFA, has predictions about the Indian stock market in 2023. And I know what you're thinking. This is the same bank that actually before the financial crisis of 2008 went on a buying spree and bought MBNA and Countrywide Financial and during the financial crisis lost billions of dollars and had to have the Fed bail them out. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, we're going to talk about the Bank of America or BOFA and their predictions for the Indian stock market in 2023. Here's everything you need to know. Let's get started. So first of all, usual disclaimer here, I'm not a SEBI registered investment advisor or a certified financial planner. If you want to make any investments, you should do your own market research. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about Morgan Stanley, another investment bank. Now they have something called the Morgan Stanley Capital International India Index and currently it's trading at a valuation premium of 98% versus its usual average of 45%. So clearly the Indian stock market is enjoying a secret bull run and we should be taking advantage of it. However, in 2023, it's going to get rough and BOFA has predictions. If you want to know what they are, stick around till the end of this video. Now let's jump in. First of all, Bank of America has predictions about the broader market. Now you have the Nifty 50 index in India and according to Bank of America in 2023, it's going to trade in a range of 17,000 to 20,000. They have a base case estimate of 19,500, meaning depending on where you buy the index, you're going to have an upside of about 7%. If you have a boatload of money now, hi, you could do a lot worse than putting it into the index over the next year. Now, why is the index going to go to 19,500 over the next year, it's because of FII's or foreign institutional investors and FTI's or foreign portfolio investors. And according to the data, their current ownership of domestic equities is at about 18% versus a historical average of 23%. So clearly they're not going to pull out any more money from the Indian stock market. Also, you have households, retail investors like you and me. According to a survey, 72% of Indian household savings by 2027 is going to be in Indian equities. This is from a country whose historical preference is for cash, gold and fixed deposits. So overall, according to Bank of America or BOFA, 2023 isn't going to be too bad for the broader market. Now, obviously, they have specific sectors in which they want you to invest. The first sector that they want you to consider is financials. This is a no brainer. As interest rates go up, obviously, financials will do pretty well. And we have a stock recommendation in the form of Federal Bank. Now, Federal Bank in the most recent quarter, that's quarter two of FY 2023. Yeah, I know in India, we're kind of weird. That quarter ended in September of 2022 and they had a revenue growth of 26%. Their target price, according to ICICI Direct, is 168 rupees, meaning depending on when you buy the share, you could have an upside of about 20%. The second sector that BOFA recommends are industrials and infra. Now, obviously, as the government ramps up spending here, these sectors are currently undervalued and therefore there is potential for capital appreciation and better return on equity. Now, the example I have for you here is Larson and Tubro. They're an infra company in India and they have their revenue growth at about 23% in the most recent quarter and their target price again according to ICICI Direct is 2520 rupees meaning depending on where you buy the stock you should have about 20% upside. The third sector that BOFA wants you to consider is metals. Now metals are obviously a cyclical cyclical industry and they're probably going to be on the upside in the next year and the example I have for you here is Hindustan Zinc. It is a company that I personally own shares in. In their most recent quarter they had revenue growth of 46% and their target price according to a discounted cash flow method is 464 rupees meaning depending on where you buy the stock you could have an upside of about 30% Now, these are the sectors that BOFA wants you to invest in. There are also sectors that BOFA wants you to avoid. Chief among them is the IT sector. Now, obviously, as the US enters a recession next year, it could be a deep recession or a shallow recession, but a recession will negatively impact IT stocks, specifically IT stocks in India. The example I have for you here is Infosys. According to their most recent quarter, they had revenue growth of about 14%, but their target price, according to a discounted cash flow method on Simply Wall Street, is 1046 rupees, 
meaning they're going to be trading at a pretty significant discount from their current market price. The second sector that Bofa wants you to avoid is consumer discretionary. Again, obviously, as a consumer goes into a recession, he is going to cut down on the spends that he can do without. And that is consumer discretionary. The example I have for you here is Delta Corp. We've spoken about this company before. They are a gambling and casino company in India. They had a revenue growth in their most recent quarter of 261%, but that's mostly due to the benefits of opening up also, if you take their target price according to a discounted cash flow method, it's at about 166 rupees, meaning a significant discount from their current market price. The third sector that Bofa wants you to avoid are materials. Again, materials are currently overvalued and Bofa thinks they're going to have a significant decline in value in the next year. The example I'm going to be using here is Ambuja Cements. That's the company that Adani recently bought. In their most recent quarter, they had a net sales growth of 14%. And if you take analyst target on their stock price, it's currently at about 476 rupees, which is a significant discount from their current stock price. There you have it. Bofa is overall kind of bullish about the stock market. They have specific sectors for you to invest in and they have specific sectors for you to avoid. Do you think that they're right? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Blog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.